Hey, so I'm at a new listing that we just got. It's a canceled expired listing here. And look at these views, right? So we just got a big snowstorm here in Prescott, um, which put ice everywhere, which is just crazy. But um, you got views of the country club uh, golf course, the entire subdivision, and then all the mountains, the Bradshaw Mountains, which is just amazing. And you can see it here in the background right there, which is just incredible. So this actually came from a texting lead and she's actually a past client of mine. She changed her phone number so that she had tried to get a hold of me before listing with her new agent and couldn't. She said that she tried multiple times. So um, our texting system sent out a message to her. She responded back, hey, yeah, I've used James in the past. Um, and so we ended up meeting, uh, there was actually two listing appointments I had to do with her because she had so many other people calling and saying, you know, we'll do X, Y, Z. And the one thing that was interesting when I went to the appointment is she asked me, what are the things that you're going to do differently to sell my house than what had just been done? Right. And so my response was looking at the sales record, letting her know the sales that we had last year, this year so far, and our company that we work for. The other thing is. Now that I sell over a hundred homes a year just by myself, there's tried and true things that I've used in my marketing plan. And I go through bullet point after bullet point with that. And it's essentially a 12 point system that we use, but I let her know there's no shiny object syndrome, right? So what's what we're gonna do for the marketing is what has worked over and over and over again. And we do make adjustments to that. And one of the big things that we like to do is po boost our properties on Facebook and other social media websites as well. So that solidified it and tied it in. But it is a little awkward, right? When you've worked with somebody, you've sold houses before, you have the sales record and somebody says, what are you gonna do differently? that other agents won't do to get or won't do to get the house sold. So that one stuck with me a little bit. It was a little shocking. I thought it was kind of a gimme that I was going to go there and get it signed. But as always, real estate throws you some curveballs. So if you're interested in a house with amazing views, the country club, 2,500 square feet, three bedroom, three bath and morning sunsets that are just incredible. Give me a call. Talk to you soon.